Sunshine and down. Gainsborough take the throw in tight inside to Wiles. Wiles gives it back and Gainsborough just trying to have a long range shot there. And Pete Jamison had to go and get a hand on that and push it past the post. That was a, a worthwhile effort from Gainsborough. And Pete Jamison having to be awake and alive there. So Gainsborough back on the attack, but he's overrun the ball there. And it comes to Gillies and Gillies knocks it inside to Turnbull. Turnbull prods it forward intelligently with the outside of his boot. And Liam Hardy's trying to say that he was fouled there by Ian Evans and the referee agrees. Darling trying to just get, that's the first time I've seen Darling try and move the ball with a little bit of urgency there on the free kick as they tried to drop it down and take it quickly but Gainsborough uh, stopped them doing that. Galbraith gives it into Hardy's feet. Uh, Hardy knocks it back to Falkingham. Falkingham in the middle of the pitch there plays a nice ball out to Thompson. Thompson's got his full back to try and beat, gets a cross in, good cross. Mark Beck's under it, gets the downward header, it's just gone wide of the post. He scampers over to this near side and drops the ball down in front of him so he can clear the ball with his uh, with his right foot off the floor Beck's the target Beck trying to win that header and does does very well to do so under pressure knocks it down to Thompson Thompson's looking again to go around the inside then the outside he's got Mars if he needs him he does find Mars indeed Mars gives him the option Mars comes back to Turnbull Turnbull just trying to find a bit of space he sees Thompson he lets the ball go Gillies is on it on the edge of the box with a chance to cross Gillies puts the cross into the box that's a good chance for Hardy Hardy's just put it over the bar but nice football by Darling Hardy just not able to keep that effort down Another good move. Uh, lots of uh, good work being done down by, by the uh, down the right by Darlow in these first few minutes. Uh, keeping the ball on the deck and playing some nice stuff today so far without really carving out that clear-cut chance. Gainsborough just not going to ball. Gary Brown misses his kick there. It's a chance for Gainsborough. It's a goal for Gainsborough. Gary Brown tried to hook it away with his right foot and didn't get any connection on it. And uh, the chance was seized upon by Gainsborough Trinity. And it's Darling nil. Gainsborough Trinity won after 22 minutes. I think it was number two. Is it number ten, Nathan Jarman? I think it was, yeah. Nathan Jarman, who hasn't been involved so far, uh, so much. The ball went over the top, as I say. It was coming over Gary Brown's shoulder, um, and he, he tried to hook it clear. Didn't get much connection with it, and uh, and uh, the the ball was rifled into Pete Jamison's bottom right corner. It was well finished. I think that's what back in the box, Galbraith in the box, plenty of tall targets to aim for. And throw in, Beck gets the flick on, Gainsborough had a clear. Only as far as the edge of the box where Thompson was waiting, but they do manage to bring the ball away. Coming down the left now is Jordan Thewlis, he's gone past Falkingham. Now coming down the middle of the pitch, he's got Watson and Falkingham with him. Eventually taken down by, I think it was Watson, but the referee decides it's a free kick, probably about 20, 25 yards out. The referee just having a little word with Falkingham. Well, Gainsborough decide how. It is within shooting distance. They could have a go from here if they wanted to. Probably about 25 yards out, I'd say. Tall wall to get over. In the, event, in, the event, in the end, it was Reed who took it. He does get it over the wall, and Jameson has to get down to his right to save. Second save is up to make in this game. Good free kick from Reed. Back to Galbraith, Walsfeld immediately pressing. <laughs> Little tangle between uh, Beck and Sparrow there, and Hardy comes away with the ball, plays it out to the left, looking for Gillies. Gillies has it now, coming past uh, Lacey. Oh! And uh, Gillies cross there, Lacey charging it down, ball comes off his hand, and the referee has awarded a penalty. Chance for Darlow to get back on terms here. Yeah, referee had no um, no mistake. There was a shout from behind the goal. Gillies got around the outside, tried to pull it back, and uh, the referee made, he, he didn't hesitate at all. Little word with the keeper. Galbraith with the penalty, and it's saved, and the rebound is saved as well. 
Good save, George Willis. Certainly was. Galbraith went to his right. Willis went the right way. Got a hand to it. Ball ran to, I think it was uh, Falkingham, was the first to react to the ball. And uh, Willis was able to save the rebound as well. Great work by the Gainsborough keeper. On the resulting corner, Hardy trying to work across, but Gainsborough can bring it away. And their clearance is only going to end up with uh, Jordan Watson. And he plays it to Mars, who goes out to the left looking for Gillies. Gillies under pressure being forced back here. Now into the middle and eventually brought down, and the referee does decide that that is a free kick. So down there with a the free kick just inside the uh, games for a half. And the referee, the assistant slugging for something. And it's, it's another, another it's another Darlow penalty. Ultimately signalled that it is another Darlow penalty. Several games for players over there wondering why. Same way, Willis goes to the right again, but this time it's underneath him. And this time, second time of asking, Galbraith has equalised from the spot for Darlington. It's Darlington 1, game for Trinity 1. Same penalty taker, almost the same spot. Willis got his hand to it again, right side, almost kept it out. I know. Uh, tweeted in earlier as well, so we'll try and keep up with the and We're off anyway. So Darlington take the kick off. Knock it forward to Mark Beck, who wins that first header. Falkingham seizes upon the loose ball, finds Gillies in space on the left wing. Gillies cross into the box, is a good cross, and uh, bounce past the Hardy's uh, advances. And uh, Brad Beatson was taking no chances, and he sort of uh, stooped to head that one behind for an early Darlington uh, corner. A good cross, so let's see what Darlington to do with the corner. They take it short, they've got two men on one here. Galbraith's going to have the chance to deliver. Galbraith does deliver, sticks it into the box, it's a goal! Gary Brown! Head stooped, raised at the back post and headed it into the bottom corner. Great two on one from the corner. Darlington two goals for Trinity one in the opening minute of this second half. Well, you cannot ask for a better start to the half than that. I think Gainsborough have had one touch so far and it was to put the ball out for that corner. Good little bit of work between uh, Galbraith and Thompson from the corner to uh, enable Galbraith to curl that in left footed from the corner of the box. And uh, two or three Darlow players up for that with the keeper and ultimately it's Gary Brown's head that gets on it. And Darlow from being a goal down after 22 minutes are a goal up after 46. Excellent stuff and Darlin. Darlin looking to defend. Ball comes in, in swinger. It goes past everybody apart from Kevin Burgess who again doesn't clear it convincingly. Ball comes back in and that hits Falkingham's head. Oh, he's well I think he's given, and the referee's given a penalty there but I have to say from where I am it, it didn't look to be uh, as if it hit his head at all. It looked to me like it came off his back to be honest. He's... Um, the Gainsborough players are already claiming a penalty for um, the initial clearance and then they've tried to cross it again and it, Falkingham sort of turned his back on it as it's coming in and it looks like to me it's hit him in the back, maybe on the shoulder. And uh Anyway, Newhouse gives the penalty so Gainsborough have a chance through Reed to equalise. And Reed scores, puts it to Pete Jameson's left, Jameson went right. So I think it's been, a, uh, if, if I'm being honest, I think that's three soft penalties in this game so far. Um, I really didn't see the infringement there and Gainsborough have earned a way back into this game, or they've been given a, a way back into this game anyway, and it's Darlington 2, Gainsborough Trinity 2. We thought we were gonna Mars throws it down the line, he Beck collects it on his chest, doing a lot of work with his back to goal today. I, I guess that's, that's his job, that's what he does. Gives it back to Mars. Mars pokes one down the line, and it looked like Cartman was bundled in the back there from Picton, and the referee says he was, but he's, given them, he's let them play on, so Thompson's gonna try and get around the outside, and Thompson does get around the outside, but Gainsborough get a half block on it and hook it clear hopefully and uh, emerge with the ball. So nice footwork from Gainsborough, clears it there and they've got two on two here. So Darlington going to have to be awake. Gary Brown's going to have to do some covering as Gainsborough on the break, but just inside the box has a shot. But Jameson saves the first attempt and the second one's into the side netting. And Very dangerous quick break by Gainsborough there. Good work from German and uh, Thewlis to set Thewlis away and eventually Jack. He's kicking out of his hands into the Darlow half. Walsfold beaten in the air by Brown. A little bit ahead tennis. Sparrow, Mars now. He's going to drop onto the right-hand side where Thompson's looking to win it, and he has. Put his ball forward to Cartman. Headed away by Wiles. But Thompson can come again down the right. He's got Beaton and Wiles with him. He's managed to get the cross in. Beck's played it back across, and it's 3-2 Darlow! 
Great work, Darlington. Thompson down the right hand side. Mark Beck went over the goalkeeper. Beck did well to push it back into the uh, into the on run and Cartman. Cartman stabbed it home from close range. Darlington three games for Trinity two. And off games we're looking for a ball out to the right, but Galbraith there to intercept before it reaches Templeton and he can play it forward to Turnbull. Turnbull taking a few touches looking for a ball and eventually finds Cartman who's flipped on oh. finds Sayers who's come through here and back. And it's another penalty. Well, that was one was a penalty. Fourth penalty of the game, and the first one that we can pretty much agree from up here was definitely, uh, should definitely have been given. Uh, two out of the three penalties we've seen in this game so far have been converted. Is this going to be three from four? Galbraith. It is! Terry Galbraith goes to the keeper's left this time, and while the keeper once again gets it right, he can't do anything about it, then it's Darlington four. Game for Trinity two. Second of the game for Terry Galbraith, both from the spot. Things looking much brighter for Darlington in the last few minutes. I mean, that was a, a great deal bit of football. The chest from Cartman into, I think it was Sayers' pass, actually, yeah. or Sayers' pass. It was, it was sublime, really, and Sayers had all that space to gallop into. And I think... Galbraith throws the ball back to Jameson. Clears it, looking for Cartman, but Cartman can't win that in the air. Ball does go to Turnbull, whose ball forward is flicked across by Beck, and Gillies has a little bit of space down the left, but he's got two games for defenders for company. Opts to turn back to Turnbull. Turnbull to Galbraith, cheeky little ball up over Cartman who leaves it for Beck, that's brilliant work and Sayers is through here, could this be five? It is! A fantastic move by Darlow and it's a debut goal for David Sayers. What a goal, good stuff, Dalek is fifth of the day, the ball from Galbraith into Cartman, Cartman just let it go, it was, it was classic Cartman really, sent everybody the wrong way, then the ball was dropped off into Sayers' path on the edge of the box, he took a good touch forward, slipped it past the goalkeeper's left arm, Darlington five, games for Trinity two. Best move of the game, uh, brings a fifth goal for Darlow. Moving into the third minute of added on time now. In fact, we won't get there. Uh, the referee blows the final whistle. Comfortable in the end for Darlington. The final score, Darlington five, games for Trinity two.